Let's watch it with no expectations. You haven't seen this, I haven't seen this. I don't know what it is. Let's see it. We're watching this at a little over 2,000 views. People have not seen this yet. But it feels like a lot even went into this little intro. Is this skateboarding? You're about to find out. But it says not a number on it. They made this custom for this. Loading wrong. Maybe intentionally. Probably. <clears throat> this is an assault on the eyeballs, and I love it. I'm okay with it. So far. I like anything that's gonna be a little weird. Hell yeah. You're about to have your mind. So you have seen this? I have not. I saved it. I knew, I saw like three seconds of the intro and I was like, this is gonna be weird, we gotta watch this. So this is our first, both of our first times watching this. Ooh. But I mean, this right here, like I feel like this is like a, uh, Vibe. Yeah. I mean, this is this right here, I feel like this is a very unique style that hasn't yet blown up through to everyone else. You mean it's black and white? Big no, that, no. I mean, just more like his, his style of skating. It's like kind of urban, but like a little different than the current, like, you know. It's like Peter Smollett. I like the, this black and white. I don't know what they're filming with, but that's. That was sick. Feels cool. I mean, to me, this just screams homie cam, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those are and I like it for that. I think after I saw them waste 45 seconds on like an intro graphic, I was already in love with it before seeing the skating. So now I'm gonna justify all the skating and saying I really love it. That's nice. Just because it's a little different. I mean, to me, I'm just watching this footage and I'm like, yeah, this is some fun times they had. They had time. You know, skating at night, skating in all these like super urban spots. It definitely has like a 90s vibe with the pants and the trick selection. Maybe. The flat ground. I wasn't skating in the 90s, so I couldn't tell you. But like, not to be mean to any of these guys, but you can tell that, they're, I mean, they're not at the pro level, none of them. So it's like, when they're pulling like stuff off, it's just even more impressive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that pop out. I think something is always impressive, like compared to like, what is your personal benchmark of how good you are? Like if you pull something off that's like way outside of your skill level, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> You're like, what did you get me into? It's interesting. And I only heard about this because I Roger saw... Ooh. It was like Thrash or, or Barracks or something that like posted one of the guys in here and then he's, he's like video part link in bio and then I just saved this link and I was like ooh weirdness let's save it nice. <clears throat> it's got the 
fa face mask on. Is this more recent? Yeah. The uh, music is giving me some anxiety. Good. I guess. <laughs> that, that would be something you do. I know. Whoa. Yes, in a line. I love it. Yeah. Starting to like this video a little bit more. Starting to really like it at this point. <laughs> yeah. That was great. I can imagine how hard that would be. Ooh, that better be last trick. That deserves it. Oh no. God. Man. You forget how, how mm. much that sucks to fall on that. We're so used to seeing like 18 stairs being grinded that you don't know that like how bad you can hurt yourself on like a eight stair. Yeah. Just hanging up at the top. Like James, stop trying to sell this video to me. I'm bored. Let's go to the next one. No, it's fine. I misjudged your reception. You know what reception. I think? I'm, I kind of wish it wasn't all in black and white. I think that's my only. Mm. I feel like the. I feel like black and white plays better. It works when there's like night footage, which is what a lot of this is night footage. So it's yeah. like really, no matter what, like your night footage never looks that great. Yeah, you don't want that in color. It's not gonna. Add I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a. Well, I do know something for sure. If you have, if you have footage shot on a bunch of different cameras or like in a bunch of different conditions and it wasn't like kept super consistent. Right. Black and white is the biggest cheat because you just like pull out any of the color science. Right. So there's no real color to judge it on and now we're just looking at like, you know. Wow. It all kind of looks a little more uniform when you go black and white. I liked what the editor did there. It's a trick that people use uh, in shorts, like what if they're making a short film? And it kind of just like super doesn't look like a film. You make it black and white and like all of the amateurness kind of gets soaked out of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Not that I don't have any experience with that. <laughs> but no, it makes it look less. Yeah, I get it. Makes it look less real, mm -hmm. a little more timeless. Which is funny because like black and white was just like a just the technical necessity for photography in the early days. Like if you wanted to have an image, you weren't gonna get anything but black and white. Like that's the best you're gonna get. Right. And now it's like an aesthetic. This music is just killing me. Well, it's used to keep the roaches away <laughs> and the rodents, you know, if you have like a pest problem, you just play this music Seriously. and they scatter. I feel like I'm being put through a torture chamber. Yep. And apologize by ignorance, but I feel like this is all shot in like Tokyo or something or somewhere in Japan. Yeah. For sure. I didn't really look into this video. The skateboarding's too much. good. It's just this music is giving me anxiety. Olympics. Do you think the Japanese can hold up in the Olympics? I think they're gonna beat the American muscle cars. We're not even talking about the part anymore. We're just now being kind of, uh, I don't know. Is he going back for that 50-50? You think he goes through the kink or does he just do the one part? Oh. Oh yeah. Muska. Muska oh, beats was, one, two, one, two. That was so Muska. You ever seen that Muska part where he does the double kink up against the wall? Yeah. Like this. He's like, represent, yeah. represent. He just throws it down the double king. Is that Noth? Noth? I'd skate with these guys. It seems fun. For sure. They would have way a ton of tricks on me. 
Ooh, they even got a skateboard. Who is the super genius behind the graphics? Like, who do they, whose little brother is making all these graphics for them? <clears throat> I don't know. There's a, oh, actually, what we're about to see. Skate direction. Direction and edit. I think that's your boy, Masano. 